Hey, how you doing? Sorry about the darkness. I gotta concentrate on driving. Oh, there's the doggies. And, uh, yeah. Let's see how slick it is. You know, in this neighborhood, it's pretty hard to get out because of the, uh, oh, that's a sheet of ice because of the hills. Way shall we go? Uh, if I go that way, I have a. Uh, there's two hills. Uh, if I go that way, it's a really steep hill. If I go this way, it's a more gradual hill, but it's longer. And I'm going to actually ride in the. Uh, not in the icy part, but in the um, this part here. But this is what's disgusting, and I fight this every freaking year. And you can tell I'm really very happy about it. Everybody parks their cars on this hillside, and what I don't get is people like this one here. Who don't have to park their car on the on the street? I mean, I can kind of understand these apartments over here because look at the sheet of ice that they have to go down to get out, and I'm sure they don't get snowplow service up there. But you know, that one I think is just left there on the street, and oh, I'm not going to pull into the driveway and try and protect my car and keep accidents from happening. So far, this isn't bad. I tell you what's disgusting, too, is uh, apparently everywhere that's been plowed is where the ice is. <coughs> it doesn't look like this is very heavily traveled. And the rest of it is just kind of fine. You know, you get traction in the snow. Of course, this is an all-wheel drive car. And you know the name of the game. Take it sleazy, <coughs> slow and easy. Another reason why I avoided the other hill besides the steepness of that hill is that once you get down to the bottom, then you have to climb your way up. And sometimes that can be really treacherous and treacherous, treacherous and slick without there being any shoulders. You know, your shoulders are basically ditches, so. Like I say, you know, there's, there's hills here, but they're a little more gradual. And um, it looks like through here at least, people have sense and park their cars in their driveways or in their garages. But it's still nerve wracking, especially you get to this part right here, it's kind of steep. I'm going in the area where um, I'm not riding in the, the street itself, I'm riding in the area where uh, the plow is piled up snow and you know you go really really slow you make sure that you can stop if you have to or at least if you really lose traction then you're going slow enough that you don't already have that momentum and you just speed down the ice rink out of control This isn't as bad as when um, 
there's been an ice storm. I know yesterday it started out as sleet and rain, but when you have a whole night of nothing but ice, then even a four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive vehicle won't save you. And we found that out with uh, when I had that big truck, Betsy, which was four-wheel drive, and going down those hills, that hill there, I lost control. Again, you know, with the cars on the street. Because what that forces you to do is, it, you know, you, you have to steer around the cars. If you lose control, that's a hard object you're going to hit. Oh, this car is uh, brand new, too. But also, um, you have to get around the cars, which forces you into the areas where there's ice in the middle of the road. this hill maybe a little bit of momentum and I don't feel I feel it's pretty slick but the wheels aren't spinning out which is good I'm just kind of creeping now we get to see what the roads actually are like because this is just the neighborhood side streets So give yourself plenty of uh, distance to slow down and come to a stop when you come to a stop sign. You don't want to slide out in the middle of the traffic. I can see that there's a huge uh, bank in the middle of the road. We have to climb over. Arg! That was kind of rough. Well, this is a more major street. See, I got my uh, my funky hat, which I'm not wearing at this moment. Gloves, which are pretty good gloves. Not the best, but they're all right. You can still move your hands in them, keep your hands somewhat warm. And uh, I have woolly socks on. Probably not the best shoes for traction, but. Hopefully I won't need all that much traction. And uh, this parka on top of my uh, hoodie, which is an insulated lined hoodie. Now, if you want to really be stupid, which I've seen a lot of people do this, just get in your car in the wintertime wearing nothing but t-shirt and shorts like it's the middle of summer. Because, you know, there may never come this uh, chance of, like, uh, you spinning out into a ditch and having to walk in the ice and snow and cold. And it's, like, 20-something degrees outside. So it's really, actually, right now, even though it's 20-something, it's, it's a lot colder than that to the human body. So, yeah, you could freeze to death pretty quick. you get stuck in the middle of nowhere. Or even in the in town in the city. Oh. I have to use my uh, my side mirror here is still covered in snow. Mrs. tried to warn me about that, but Be really careful. Ah, nope, won't do that. I have broken many mirrors trying to uh, scrape ice off of them.
So it's best just to leave them alone. Use your your rear mirror here because you know the mirror will eventually thaw. But if you uh, go at go at it with an ice scraper or try and use even your hands or whatever, and it cracks, you don't have a mirror anymore. Yeah, the main roads are not great. That's uh, uh, just a front-wheel drive car, and I get passed by a lot of cars like that, and then uh, a mile or so down the road, there they are in the ditch. a little early but not early enough I don't think took me out too. Here's Briar Cliff. It's kind of a hillside here. So we'll take it sleazy here. Use our brights a little. Speaking of which, I think it was right here, maybe. Or no, it was a bridge. It was at a, the end of a bridge. I don't think it was here. Or the truck nearly took me out because he had to go faster than everybody else. You know, pickup trucks, it was right here. <laughs> 